In this video, we will solve a total value or cost problem in two variables using the elimination method to solve. Each course at the Math Institute costs $75 or $100. The members of the Southwest Tech Math Department are taking 27 courses that cost a total of $2,225. How many $75 courses and $100 courses are being taken? So we have two unknowns here. The unknowns being how many $75 courses and how many $100 courses. When we have two variables, we have to generate two equations. One equation will come using the fact that there are a total of 27 courses. The number of each course adds up to be 27. We'll let x represent the number of $75 charged course, y represent the number of $100 charged courses, and equals the total number of courses that was given in the problem. To generate our second equation then, we'll use the information about the total cost for these courses. To generate that equation, we'll use the following relationship. Total cost of the $75 classes will be found by the number of classes times $75. To determine the total cost for the $100 classes, we'll take $100 times the number of $100 courses being taken is equal to the charge given. We now have our two linear equations in two variables. The first equation, again, was derived from the number of courses taken. The second equation was derived using the cost information. We now have our two linear equations, and to solve using combination method, we want to eliminate one of the variables. Let's eliminate the x. Since the second equation has a 75 coefficient on the x term, we need a negative 75x on the first equation so that when they're added together, they're eliminated. To accomplish that, we'll use multiplication property of equality by multiplying each and every term in the first equation by negative 75. Using distributive property, we have the following equivalent to our first equation, and now we're set up to add the two equations together. As desired, our x terms do in fact cancel out. Combining the like terms for y, combining those coefficients and the constant terms results in the following equation. This equation has one variable, which was the desire. We now can solve this equation with one operation, which is dividing both sides by 25 to give us a value y equal to 8. We need to know the number of both courses. This is just the higher price course. So we will substitute 8 in place of y in either one of the equations. Here we've substituted it into the first equation. Subtracting 8 from each side gives us the solution of x equal 19. Our final answer then is that there were 19 $75 courses taken and 8 $100 courses taken.